You might have heard about macro lenses, but what makes them different to normal lenses? The main difference is the minimum focus distance, which is measured from the sensor of your camera that is marked on the camera body with this symbol. When we measure from this mark, a normal lens minimum focus is at 90 centimeters. But measuring the minimum focus of the lower 100 mm f2.8 ultra macro lens, the closest focus is at 24.7 centimeters. This closer focus, of course, enables a closer Closer framing. But what makes a lens a macro lens? A macro lens would need to have a true magnification factor of 1 to 1 with respect to the camera sensor, sometimes called life size photography. To explain this, we can show you with this 100 yen coin, which is in real life 22.6 millimeters in diameter. A normal lens could have a magnification of 1 to 4. But that means the coin projected onto the sensor would be only 5.7 millimeters. But with a 1 to 1 lens, the coin will be life size at 22.6 mm projected onto the sensor. However, Lawa have lenses that fall under the ultra macro category, with larger magnifications than 1 to 1. As Lawa 100 mm f2.8 ultra macro lens have a 2 to 1 magnification, and with this, the coin becomes 45.2 mm on the sensor. And of course, you can achieve smaller magnifications on the same lens by focusing on subjects further away. As objects will appear smaller further away than compared to the same object placed closer to the minimum focus distance of the lens, and of course, will appear bigger onto the sensor. And Laowa also have a 25 f2.8, 2.5 to 5 times magnification ultra macro lens. However, due to the extreme magnification of this lens, it does not focus to infinity. This brings us to the working distance of the lenses, which is different than the focus distance, as we measure this from the front of the lens to the subject. Most of the lower lenses focuses internally. This does not change the working distance while focusing. However, Lawa 25mm f2.8 and some other branded lenses extend while focusing. This is an issue that you sometimes would need to move your camera to avoid hitting the subject while the lens extends. A method to help with framing your subject with a macro lens is to choose the magnification first. As the size of the subject is given, it will be the easiest to choose how much you want the subject to cover your sensor. And then to focus onto the subject, you will need to move your camera physically forward and back, as this would also lessen the camera shakes when taking macro shots handheld, as rotating the focus ring can introduce camera shakes. Lawa have a large variety of macro lenses which include some very specialized lenses like the 50mm f4 wide angle macro shift lens and also the 24mm f14 probe lens and more. Check out all the lenses on venuslens.net. I hope you learned something from watching this video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. This was Shongda and I'll see you the next time.